Alright then. Let's see if this clothing store, see if they got anything cool. I'm sure they do. Woman's warrior suit. Welcome to my shop. Practical princess suit. Cheers. Practical prince suit. Elegant princess suit. Thank Men's you. warrior Please suit. It's kind of cool looking. Doesn't seem like my style though. And the elegant prince suit. This I've wanted to buy. And I will. Because uh, we couldn't get our hands on it uh, when we left the castle. And <laughs> we could steal stuff. Cool. And I do kind of want to buy this, um, just because it looks so cool. Well, I don't I see a practical use of me wearing it, really. Um, You're making a great saving on that. Prices may be high. But yeah, I'm not going to get it. Let me know if you have trouble finding anything. Champion, thanks. Do come back. Yeah, this place is amazing. I think I'm going to sell stuff now. I haven't done that. Before. We should have. We're just gonna sell things. I go for that pie Wedding ring. Job. Whatever. Whatever. What's uh, this place here? Perfumes or dye? Slow time potion. Some creatures potion. No. Nope. What is it you need? A bit of a shortage on goods at the moment. Health so I'll offer you more if you've got what I'm looking. Hello for. there. Oh, just Don't need anything there. What's back here? Always good to explore. Dig spot. Where the hell's my dog? Can I just push down the barrel? Whatever. This is where the part of the, this is so far the game seems like it got kind of a uh, large. It's gonna be hard to explore to uh, at, from this point. I need to pick up some quests. Um, there's a chest back there. How do I get to it? So, are we all set for tonight? I've double checked every bit of it. We just need someone to be the hero. But will that orb thing really chest. work? Magnificent. What's inside? Something useless, I bet. Mercenary left arm I already have one of those, don't I? Was what? I don't believe it. You were a hero. I mean, you were a real Steve? hero. That's just what we need. Salutations. We are three magi of great power. <laughs> Weirdos. Let's talk to him. Um. I'm sure you've all got a fair bit of gold in your pockets. So don't be shy about. Okay, what the hell? miniature and stuff. Oh my god, these guys are ridiculous. How could they do this to me? To me. They did it to me, of course. The hero wakes. Long had he harbored thoughts of vengeance against the evil Baron. Get on with it. So it was that the hero came to the little village of Lightwater, a pretty hamlet nestling under the brooding battlements of the evil Baron's castle. Cool. It's like we're in a play. Or Dungeons and Dragons game. Our hero resolved to talk to the townsfolk and see what he could find out about the missing princess. You're kidding, right? If the hero starts talking to all the villagers, we'll be here forever. Well, some players like talking to people, immersing themselves. It isn't RPG. Cool. Looks like old Clem is up. Hail, hero! I am old Clem, <coughs> the blacksmith. I make weapons, and if you bring me some sky metal, I can make you a magic sword. 
It's a thousand gold per plus. So a plus three sword is three thousand gold. Oh, and I can't. I, oh, and I can't make anything more than a plus three because I'm only a journeyman blacksmith. <laughs> Bit early in the adventure for anything above a plus three. It's on balancing, you see. <laughs> uh, forging doesn't work. Uh, I didn't have time to do the models. Are you? St I am Mildred, <laughs> a humble milkmaid. To brighten my joyless days, I daydream about a handsome nobleman, strong enough to dispatch highwaymen, but gentle enough to hold me for hours in his warm, powerful arms. Hang on, who's talk? That was Mildred. What about the princess? You should say that Mildred saw some hobs carrying a large wriggling bag. But she didn't. And that she's really hot. Ah, this is awesome. I'm playing with a bunch of nerds. In an RPG game. Right, let's head up these stairs and talk to this guy. Oh, the hero's approaching Horace. Brilliant. Greetings, mighty hero. I am Horace, the most gifted poet of our age. Shall I recite a sonnet for you? O oh, radiant orb, into the sky rise, and illuminate for mine mortal eyes my true love's face, and in silhouette frame her slender and curvaceous frame. <laughs> What do you think, guy? Oh, the hero's approaching Horace. Brilliant. Ahem. Nice. Oh, the hero's approaching Horace. Brilliant. Ahem. Okay. Glitch, maybe. Excellent. The hero's gonna talk to Arturo. Now we can get things moving. Greetings, stranger. I can see from your good looks and heroic demeanor that you must be on a quest to rescue the princess. I saw her yesterday carried off by the Baron's evil servants, a troop of hobs. They took her through this gate to the castle on the hill. What, that's it? No clues to solve or anything? Well, the hero has to figure out how to get up the hill. You mean like, by climbing it? Hey, no spoilers. Awesome, I found a pie. Keep that. Alright. This quest is interesting, it is. I like it. It's clever. Can't break inside houses, though. Nope, can't break inside houses. The hero decided to investigate the eerie tower on the hill. It's not very eerie though, is it? Ben, you did the tower, didn't you? Yeah, but I thought you said pretty. What kind of adventure has a pretty tower on a hill? Be quiet, you two. <coughs> I'll deal with this. Oh, now it's creepy. Or eerie. That bunny just turned into a wolf? Now you Oh my god, that was awesome. So the hero slew the last of the wolves, which had proven to be a mighty challenge, and far more exciting than the rabbits. <laughs> yeah, bit predictable though. The novelty of the rabbits wears off a bit when you realise you can't fight. Them, <laughs> it does. It? Does everything have to be about fighting? Yeah. Story is conflict. Ideally, with not too much story getting in the way. Well, these guys really know their stuff. Makes me want to play uh, Dungeons and Dragons again, like I used to. The hero entered the Baron's factory. Teddy bears. What are teddy bears doing here? Aren't they sweet? I put them in. Nice, eh? Yeah, they are. They are nice. 
You know what we don't want in the evil Baron's castle? Anything nice. Shh! Here come the princess and the Baron. Help! Oh, somebody please help! I've been kidnapped by the evil Baron! <laughs> I am the evil Baron. And the princess shall be my wife. And all these bears will... Well, they'll do evil stuff. For they are evil teddy bears. I shall never marry you. Oh, she's spirited like that. That win? No. Nope. Alright, so this is turning pretty ridiculous. I say. It's amusing though. It's a toy workshop and there's a chest here. Cool. What's inside? A key? Open the door. There's confetti on the floor. What the hell? A wise old man suddenly appeared what? before the hero. Riddle me re, cried the old man. Oh no, not one of your puzzles. They're far too hard. Just let him open the chest. If all trimps are trumps, and all trumps are trumps, then all trimps are definitely trumps. True or false? Actually, that's rather easy. Oh, just give him the sword. All right. You ruined my puzzle. Took me ages to work that out, and now he's got the sword far too easily. Should have been much harder. That was an easy riddle. I didn't even have to answer it. That's how easy it was. But in my opinion, whenever I get a riddle like that, I always say it's false. Because just a minute ago they said all oh, trumps or trips or whatever. Whatever they were saying. Can I open these doors? Nope. I got an awesome sword though. It's pretty cool. We get attacked by evil teddy bears now. Okay, who set up the lever? I thought you did. Well, I thought it was Jim's job. Quick, let's make something up. Um, well, how about it releases a cloud of lovely butterflies? Worst game ever. I'm serious. Well, uh, how about a standard Hollow Man encounter? Yeah, let's have some bloody action. Hollow Man, sweet. Sucks. Never mind, this sword rules. <laughs> Who's next? That it. Getting for glory. Awesome. 97 more. And with the Hollow Men vanquished, the hero ventured on. Awesome. Seriously, this is awesomeness right here. But I'm going to cut this short and finish the quest later, because I don't think I'm missing enough time. So I'll see you guys next part.